hello everyone welcome back to my channel well it's been a while in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install and start Commando 8 run which is version 8.6 on your local machine Commando 8 run is perfect for your development and testing but not meant for production purposes this version will definitely include ZB operate task list connectors and Elasticsearch and you will get a fully working environment right on your desktop for your use so let's jump in before we start there are a few prerequisites first you will need JDK 21 or later if you don't have it installed we need to install that and I'll give you the website from where you can fetch the latest version this is the Oracle's website from where you can download the JDK version of your choice depending upon the kind of OS you are using. I am using Mac so I have downloaded the Mac version. Uh, if you are using Windows you can install uh, the Windows version the 64-bit uh, version which is here. I will be putting this link in the description so you can fetch this and download the JDK. Once you have installed Java, open a new terminal and verify if the Java version is installed correctly. You could do that by typing Java hyphen hyphen version and this should give you the version which got installed. So here I see that JDK 21.0.4 is installed which is the minimum basic which I need to run this. So for the Java standpoint we are good so once you have installed java successfully now you need to also make sure that java underscore home variable is set in your environment that can be done by running this command export java underscore home and wherever the jdk version is installed the same thing will be true for your windows right i am doing this for mac you will have to do the same thing for windows so all i am doing is export java underscore home equals and then i have to give the directory where jdk is installed so i'm pasting that and here you go here i have successfully set the java underscore home variable with my jdk path once your java underscore home is set you also need to make sure that you have the Kamunda modeler installed. The link to download the modeler I'll be specifying in the description. You can download it from there. The modeler is a one click install. Once you install that, you will see an icon like this on which you can launch the modeler and you will be able to see the modeler coming up with this user interface where you will see Kamunda 8, a welcome page bpmn diagram dmn diagram forms and stuff like this so you will need jdk and the modeler installed as part of prerequisites once the modeler is installed the next prerequisite you would need is the kamunda 8 run package this is the entire package which is necessary for you to be able to run kamunda on your local the latest version which is Kamunda 8.6 can be downloaded from this link here which is something which I will be posting in the description. All you have to do is click on this download link and you would be getting a .tgz file which will have all the entire package of Kamunda 8.6. Let's do that and see what is that we get as part of it. I have successfully downloaded the Kamunda 8.6 tar.gz file from that link and then I extracted that and this created a folder called C8 run if you see here. When I open this I see all the components which came as part of that particular package. I see Kamunda ZB, configuration, uh, polling PID and stuff like that. There is most of the stuff which came in as part of that package something which i want to 
emphasize on is the start.sh and shutdown.sh file. Now that we have seen the extraction, let us jump back to our terminal to start this particular service by running certain commands. Let's see. Let us see where we are right now, present working directory. All you are doing is within your windows, you would be just clicking into that folder, C8 run folder. That is where I am here right now. I have already set my Java just for to be sure I am trying to set it again. Right. I have set my Java. Now I am pointing to JDK 2.1, uh, JDK 21. And let us start this. How can I start this? All I have to do is run the start script, which is dot slash start dot sh. So if you see, all it is doing is the JDK version is being set to the right version which was there. And then it is starting the Kamunda engine along with Elasticsearch. See Elasticsearch has started successfully and then Kamunda is getting started here. If you see, the following four profiles are active. Operate, task lists, broker, auth are also getting started. So right now it is trying to start the engine so it should happen within three to five minutes is what it takes to start the entire engine let us validate that in few minutes now we can see that the kamunda has successfully been started Automatically, it opens the browser window and launches the URL for your operate, but I'll do it explicitly for you. So all we have to do is click on localhost 8080 operate forward slash login will take you to the login page where you can specify your password, username and password, which would be demo demo. We haven't customized that. This should launch us our operate screen which will have a dashboard of all the processes which are running right now we have just installed it we are not running any of the processes that is why you don't see anything running here let us try to build a process and see if we are able to deploy that into this particular instance let's now build a sample process to do that i have come into the kamunda modeler where you can click on BPMN diagram, which tells create a new file and you can try to create a new BPMN diagram or you can also go from file, create a new file and BPMN diagram is what you can say. That will pull this palette where you can create new BPMN diagrams. All I am trying to do is showing you how exactly can we deploy a process, build a process and deploy on your Kamunda 8.6 run version right we do have a start process let's say i want to just want to add a stop to this and then let us connect this using a connector right perfect and let us call this c8 sample one right and let us try to save this I'll do control S or save file, right? Now you can try to save this wherever you want. Uh, I am trying to save it in my, this directory, I'll call it uh, C8 sample one and I'm saving this. Now that we have created a process, just a sample process which starts and stops, right? Let's see how we can deploy it. To deploy this, all I have to do is click on this particular deploy the current diagram. If you want to run, you can run this as well, wherever you want to run. But first you have to deploy it to run it. So how can I deploy it? From the bottom, if you see there is this rocket button, click on deploy and then because you are using this in your local, you will need a ZB endpoint where you will be deploying this, 
right that would be nothing but local host colon and then 26500 should be your port on which you will be deploying it the authentication will be none and then you say http localhost colon 26500 very important just make up make it a point you will be choosing Kamunda self-managed if you are using a SaaS version you would be using this radio button because you are deploying it locally you are doing you are using Kamunda 8 self-managed and authentication type is none and then let's say we'll click deploy process definition deployed successfully let's go to our UI and validate if we see any instance do we see our C8 sample one coming up here see the process instance is available this is what we deployed same instance is available here so this is how we have successfully seen how to you know uh, bring a Komoda 8 instance up in your local and build a process and deploy a process in the same way you could do a lot of different stuff in this like for example if you have custom connectors you can you know uh, with Komoda 8 run uh, in the desktop model automatically pulls the if there are any pre-built connectors so you can add custom connectors too to do this all you have to do is simply uh, place the custom connector jar file into this custom connectors directory and then uh, Komoda 8 should be able to pull that right now that we have successfully understood how to start uh, your Komoda 8.6 engine in the local and then also deploy uh, all we can also try is you know we can sh to shut down the running instance you can click on this shutdown.sh and this should be able to bring the bring down the uh, file or one more approach is you can go back to your terminal and click on shutdown so you can bring down the environment just to control c and it should bring down the environment let's validate that as well it takes a couple of seconds but see it tells okay connectors are shutting down now if you want you can validate the user interface this shouldn't be working see it's not running anymore well this was a quick understanding session for you to help you know how exactly we can run Kamunda successfully on your local deploy a process and even uh, you know explode uh, the operate and also you can uh, go to the task list and explore your task list if you found this video helpful don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and for more Kamunda and workflow automation tutorials if you have any questions drop them in the comments below thanks for watching and i will be seeing you in the next video thank you